when I had arrived at the Odeon, soon afterwards, you went to another cinema. That's Glasgow. right. It's the quite other, special. Our other major city centre cinema called the Gilmont in Sucky Hall Street, which in a lot of way in the 1960s preempted what we take as normal today in cinema. Booked seats, separate performances. And the reason for that was in the 60s in the Gilmont, we showed special film. Normal film in most commercial cinemas was 35 millimetres wide. But in the Gilmont in the 1960s, we showed double the width of that film, 70 millimetres wide, uh, which meant, in simple language, each picture frame was twice as big as a normal one, therefore it didn't need magnified nearly as much, so you could get a huge screen and it was a very clear picture, and we could also put stereophonic sound on it as well. And, of course, because of the cost of all of the film and the special projectors, we had to keep films as long as possible. Yes, in the Odeon in those days, we changed our film every week. And the way that worked in those days, once the film was finished in the Odeon, it would go to the outskirt cinemas, where they sometimes changed twice a week, and uh, that's the way it used to work. That's but right, of, but course, of course, with these special films, we had to keep them as long as possible. We maybe kept them for four weeks. That was a long time in those days. Or really. maybe 13 weeks. Oh, that must have been a good film, Peter. <laughs> but for two years and eight months of my life, in the mid-60s, I spent showing The Sound of Music. Oh, and it's not my favourite film. Imagine oh. showing the same <laughs> film every day for two years and eight months. <laughs> it's <so> terrible. <laughs> but that was what happened in those days.